Last year, we won on the strength of our lightweights, and we've considerably upgraded the heavyweights this year, and we have pretty much our, 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 boat, our lightweight boat back intact with one change, which is actually a, a good change to the better. And our heavyweights have dramatically improved, so as I said to you before, they're scary. They have some scary speed there. We work, we're working a lot on our catches um, and just getting the time together getting everything timed up. Um, we're feeling good. I think every practice it feels better, so that's a good sign. Only the big person we're sort of looking to beat is Western. Um, for the uh, Ontario competition, they won a lot of the events. They're 8-1. They have a lot of really strong girls as well. Um, some girls who did like U23s and stuff. So we're looking to, we're going after them for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a hard, hard week for sure. We have giant targets on our back. We won everything on the lightweight category last year, and everybody's been training since November of 2010 to beat UVic. And it's hard being on top to stay motivated to train like that. Um, we've definitely had some challenges along the way this year, and I think now we're really excited to go out there and see what the work has done. We have to go in basically ready for anything and it, we expect anything to happen. There's always crews that catch us off guard that we don't even think of. So we have to prepare for Western but also know that everyone else is out there pushing particularly for us because we are the previous um, banner winners. This is pretty early in the season when you think about it. For our nationals we're not going to see the kind of speed I think this crew is capable of. Uh, but we're still going to see some pretty fast times for Canadian University rowing in the fall.